Hello students and welcome to our first official week of class. Um, so even though this is a slightly shorter week due to the Martin Luther King holiday on Monday, um, I wanted to post this weekly announcement just to give you an idea of what to expect this week. So hopefully you all watched my intro video. Um, I made that, uh, I think that I sent that out as an email on Friday, uh, made the page available. And again, uh, hopefully you, you have come into the class, you've looked around. I noticed that some of you have already signed up for CK12 accounts. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Um, I haven't checked the blog accounts yet so I will do that next um, but uh, the instructions on how to do that are also found in that course introduction folder so for this first week um, you should have already covered that course introduction folder if you haven't done that yet please make sure you go ahead and do that and you're also going to want to get started on the week one content folder so just a quick note when you come here to the learning modules um, and actually, I'm going to turn this off real quick. Uh, oops, wrong one. There we go. That's the button I meant to, to toggle. So when you first come to the page, the landing page here, this is what you're all going to see. You're all going to see the learning module um, that says Start Here Course Orientation. So again, if you haven't gone through this material and this folder, please do so first, right? It gives you important information about uh, what to expect in the class, um, again, the, the welcome and orientation video, which you all should watch so that you know what to expect in the course. And then there's also some information on how to sign up for different accounts, like uh, an account on EduBlogs and an account on CK12. Uh, we're also using something called Socrative, although you don't need to sign up for an account for that. It is software and app that you're going to be required to use. All of that information is in here, so I'm not going to go through it. But here's a really important one. Before you can access the week one course materials, you have to complete the syllabus confirmation form. So you're going to open the syllabus confirmation form and essentially you're going to say uh, begin the survey and actually I need to move myself here real quick. Okay, so you're going to hit begin um, and then it asks you, did you read the syllabus? Yes. You agree to abide by course policies? Yes. It's your responsibility to check Blackboard and your Harper email for any information related to the course. Yes. So you're going to hit all that and hit save and submit. And then you're going to hit OK. And once you do that, let's go back to the learning modules. Week one has now appeared. So you can't access the week one course materials until you complete the syllabus confirmation form. Uh, so I know I'm probably still going to get emails from some of you this week that I'll say I can't I can't find the week one materials and I'm going to say oh did you complete the syllabus confirmation form because that's what you have to do to get to these materials. Uh, once you have access to this, these materials um, here's again I think I kind of went over this a little bit in my welcome video this is what you can expect in a typical week so this is what it will look like uh, I will give you an overview of the topics we're going to discuss you'll have lecture notes and a lecture video to watch uh, there will be some type of an activity uh, there isn't one this week I don't have any activities related to the content this week um, this week I think all we're doing is we're just signing up for blogs um, and you're doing a, a check-in survey yeah that's that's all I've got this week so I just want you to get your blog going make an introduction tell us about yourself um, and then also to do the Socrative check-in so all of the lecture materials are here so I'll give you a video I'll give you lecture slides and then um, I will also give you if they go along with what we're discussing I'll give you some adaptive practice modules in CK12 um, so for this week I don't have anything in particular that um, corresponds directly to this overview of uh, genetics there's no chapter in the book that lines up one to one that I'm using because remember I'm using an OER text for this and I don't have any chapter in that OER text that lines up one to one with my intro lecture so there are no particular adaptive practice modules for this particular chapter, but you'll continue to see the link here for adaptive practice modules so that you know that they're, they're here week in and week out. Uh, and then you'll go to the assignments link here. And again, the first thing I have is uh, go ahead and post your introduction. So tell me your name, nickname, preferred pronouns, 
Uh, what are you interested in studying? Are you new to Harper? Have you been here for a year? Is this your first year? How are things going? Um, just what interests or hobbies do you have? Things you'd want to, to share about yourself. So again, this is just your general get to know you kind of introduction. Uh, pictures are great if you're comfortable sharing with them. If you don't want to share a picture of yourself, share a picture of your pet. Um, I've had students share, um, I've had students who were art uh, majors or graphic design majors in the past, and they have shared some of their their projects, things that they've created, which is also really fantastic because I, I love to see all the creativity uh, of the students that I have. So anything you would be comfortable sharing with us so we can get to know you a little bit better uh, would be much appreciated. And then the other thing that you're going to do is you're going to complete the week one check-in survey. Um, a note about check-in surveys. They're not available until Wednesday of the week. And the reason is because the purpose of the check-in survey it's supposed to be the very 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 last thing you complete so i want you to do all of your assignments all of your reading i want you to do the adaptive practice modules if you want those are practice you don't have to do them but if you do them i will actually give you some extra credit at the end of the semester um, so i want you to do everything in the module first and then the last thing i'd like you to do is this check-in survey and the check-in survey is my way of asking you hey did you understand what we talked about this week? Do you understand the basic concepts? Are there questions that I can answer? And if you're doing that at the very beginning <laughs> of the week when you have no questions yet, it doesn't make as much sense. So wait until the end of the week, until you're completely finished with everything, and then you can go ahead and click on this. When you do click on it, you're going to need to enter the room name, which is always every single week, going to be Bio 105 W01. That's your section. So every single week you're going to do that. And I'll just show you what it looks like. So you're going to put in Bio 105 W01. And you're going to hit join. And then it's going to say this room requires a student ID. Your student ID is your Harper username, which is the first part of your email address. It is not your Harper ID number. It is the username of your email address, right? So whatever your email address happens to be, um, most of you, if you're a new student, your email address is usually um, a combination of the letters, uh, your first and last name, and then a series of letters, or excuse me, numbers after that. For those of you who've been here for a while, um, your email address is probably still um, your first initial and then the first, I think, five or six digits of your last um, letters of your last name. So it just kind of depends. But in any case, it's not your Harper ID. So if you put your Harper ID in here, that won't work. OK, uh, and I'm not going to go any further because I actually don't have a survey up yet. So there's no point in going any further. OK, so that is uh, week one. The format week to week is going to be really similar to this. The only difference will be there will also be some type of an activity that you'll be required to complete that's going to um, further help you understand the content for that week. So, for example, next week we're talking about cells and mitosis. So there's going to be a, a mitosis activity. The week after that, we're going to be talking about um, meiosis. So there's going to be a meiosis activity. So every week there will be some type of um, activity that you will need to complete in order to show me that you understand whatever topic we happen to be discussing. So that's the only thing I have that's missing in week one here. Um, the other thing that you will see in the other learning modules, which I'll turn this on real quick just so I can show you, is you'll see a link to the readings as well. So uh, that's usually up here at the top and that's in our CK12 book. Um, so I tell you uh, exactly which sections to go through, and this time I said read sections 4, 3 to 4, 6, and 4, 12 to 4, 13. So you would come back here, and you'd click down to 4, 3. We're going to start with variation in cells, and then you're going to go ahead and uh, read these particular sections that I'm talking about. So uh, again, I don't have a... Uh, a chapter that lined up one to one with the week one material so that's that's why it doesn't happen to, to be there um, but that does it for this uh with video so uh again i'll i'll be probably i will always give you a weekly announcement that tells you exactly what you need to complete for the week um, and i'll usually put those out monday anywhere from Monday morning to Monday afternoon. I do have a Monday morning class on campus, so sometimes I can't get that announcement out before class, but I'll do it after class. Um, you'll also receive an email from me uh, Wednesday afternoons that remind you, say, hey, 
Here's what we have to do this week. Uh, and then last but not least, on Sunday evenings, I will send you one final sort of summary. Here's what we learned this week. Here's what we did. Here's what you should know going into next week. So you'll hear from me about three times a week. Um, you will also then, I typically do videos, um, not every single week I don't do a video. Usually I'll do a video if there's something new or there's something different or there's there's something that uh, I think that we need to address. So the first couple weeks you'll probably be seeing videos with me. But then as the weeks go on, it might be a little bit less frequent. It might be right around exam time that I make another video or right after the first exam. Or you won't quite be seeing me quite as much, um, except those lecture videos, of course. Um, but as far as the announcements, you'll still receive written announcements. It just won't necessarily always be a video attached to them. Um, the last point that I want to make real quick is that if you have questions as we go along, and I've already heard from a couple of you, um, please reach out to me by email. Um, I do have office hours. For those of you who happen to be on campus, you're more than welcome to come by on my uh, on-campus office hours. If you're not on campus, you're fully remote, that's fine too. Um, I'm more than happy to meet with you uh, virtually if you'd like. Just set up an email and request that appointment with me um, and I'm happy to do that. We use a, a program here on Blackboard. Um, it's called Blackboard Collaborate. So it goes through Blackboard that you already have and I, I send you a link to join. So it's it's very simple, um, but it's incredibly important that as you have questions that you reach out to me, right? I, I don't know when students struggle unless they tell me they're struggling. Um, I don't know when students have questions unless they tell me they, they have questions. So uh, just make sure that you communicate with me uh, as frequently as necessary uh, in order for you to feel comfortable uh, in the class and with the way that the class is going. So I will see you all then again next week. Yeah, I'll make another video for next week. Uh, and good luck with week one. Again, please let me know if you have questions. Thanks, everybody.